Good morning. My name is Chu. Um, the student number is 500631. And this morning, I'd like to present my thesis exhibition with a specific interest in exploring arts and social work practice. But before we start, uh, I'd like to acknowledge um, that this meeting is being held on the traditional lands of the Muwinina and Palawa people of the Nipaluna nation. And I pay my respect to the elders, both past, present, and emerging. So uh, the artifact of my thesis exhibition is this possum nest. And um, I will unpack the social work skill and knowledge as well as my whole journey with this degree through this possum nest as a metaphor. First and foremost, uh, I want to explain why. Um, so this is the, um, the possum nest uh, I developed as a sample for the green crochet class that I would teach here in every summer at Kickstarter. This specific uh, green crochet is my personal community project, which I started also at the beginning of this social work practice. It served as a way of my um, effort to understand and contribute to the community and um, in which I would teach people from all walks of life to learn how to pick up crochet for a good cause. Uh, specifically, we respond to social matters like um, provide shelters for rescued animals, and we donate to Bonorong uh, in Tassi, or we send over to mainland during bushfire for our road accidents. And uh, that represents my very first uh, point in terms of um, values and belief system. Uh, I believe that every life matter. Uh, in, in, um, in, in Australia, I think kangaroo and possums are considered pests, but I um, personally, I think um, they are living creatures and they are as important as any of us because in the end we are connected and living in the same ecosystem. Um, I think it responds to, um, to the theory of system theories and lots of indigenous wisdom as well that we are not the only one in this planet um, but everyone matters <clears throat> and um, the green social work theory actually inspired me to name the group as green crochet as well so this possum nest um, so that was why I started um, this particular journey as a social worker and that's equal to why I start um, this possum nest. Um, then the very next is how, how, how do I come up with this nest? So this nest is written by patterns um, and in which the, um, the creator will tell you exactly how much yarns you will need, what types of yarn, uh, what size of the hook, and how many stitch you have to start from this row and counting onwards, I tell you, But um, for me, I, I study that kind of pattern very carefully. I understand every, each of the words inside. I've got all the skills. And uh, eventually I come up with my own way of doing. And I think that is a metaphor uh, for how I approach the social work as well, because this is not my very first career. I used to be a marketer for 10 years and I study art therapist in Singapore. And now this social work is my third attempt in being my career choice. And I hope that I could um, grow old with this one for the next 30 years. Um, therefore, I approach mostly the same for this possumness. <clears throat> I use, uh, instead of whatever um, the instructed yarns um, in the patterns, I collected these yarns from the South Hobart tip shop, uh, which are supposed to be the yarn that people throw away, uh, but I embrace them and give them a second life as a, as a sustainability effort. Therefore, uh, the whole nest itself, it's free from cost. Um, I just contribute my own skill and I teach more people in the class to 
produce more products like this because I believe that um, with the skill I have and the facilitations, I would enable and empower more people to create the ripples. Imagine if I produce myself, maybe I can only do a few nests like this, but the Green Crochet for the time being have 75 members. And therefore, many, 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 many more products can be produced by them and uh, they can carry on wherever they go. Um, and uh, talking about um, how I do this particular nest as well, coming back to this one. So firstly, the yarn is recycled and uh, I also use my old hook because I know this, the techniques and that is the way that I teach in the green crochet as well. I think I apply consistently the collaboration and feminist leadership during the way that I um, run the green crochet group because uh, I do not commit on any numbers of how many nests I will produce after 10 weeks or how many people that I will teach. It's really come and go as their own will. And many of them has returned because they can see the benefits and aligned values within the system. Uh, talking about feminist, um, that is another big concept that I really appreciate from the social work degree. And I could proudly claim myself as a fierce feminist for the reason that I'm raising up another daughter and I want to give her a bigger legacy for a bigger world who woman is fully recognized for what they are. Um, and um, the specific example of that is uh, green crochet is very well recognized and um, there is a project from Women's Health Tasmania called Knits Your Bits project. It's to embrace the woman, embrace the, um, the concept of being a woman. And uh, they invited me and green crochet uh, people to come there and run the workshops. And um, I think uh, we respond very well to each other because we both believe in the textile arts and that should be something to a powerful tool to embrace as a woman. Um, and for that reason, I think I, I, owed, I own the, um, the knowledge to social work degree very much because uh, during the training as an art therapist in Singapore, uh, I learned that I was trained in all disciplines of fine arts, including pottery, sculpture, painting, watercolor, um, even photography just been around for a hundred years, but it's also considered as fine arts. However, there is no place to recognize textile arts, which has been forever, like thousands of years, and it has always been there with sewing, embroidery, knitting, and crochet, but there is no recognition for that in the fine arts discipline, and I was wondering why. I couldn't have an answer until I start social work and I understand it is because the lack of recognition for women and their creation that uh, has already um, been thousands of years as well and they become a voiceless person in the society. That's why um, I embrace art I embrace feminist collaboration, leadership style, and particularly I advocate for textile arts. Uh, through the journey with Green Crochet um, and during placement, I invited more male to uh, join our crochet club as well. Um, and um, I'm very proud of sharing all the male participant stories for them in other social work practice. Like for example, um, the Olympian Tom Daly also knit during um, the waiting time for his swimming competition or other application of um, knit and crochet in prison for male to manage anger. I think there's so much potential for us to grow and apply arts in social work practice in Tasmania and all around the world. Um, lastly, um, is another decolonization concept. 
which is very big and I hold dear to my heart since the beginning of this um, social work. Um, I call myself Chu. Uh, instead of adopted another Western name um, to, to honor my own Vietnamese born and bred uh, history, and uh, particularly it is for my father, my late father. So thank you. Oh. <sighs>